This past weekend, I attended the annual Southwest Association of Turners in Waco, Texas. This is a yearly symposium that promotes wood turning through demonstration, exhibits, training, and vendors. The symposium was started in 1992, and they canceled it last year because of COVID, and COVID also caused this year's attendance to be down. However, there are over 500 participants with vendors around 30, uh, down almost 50%. But there were 56 demonstrations to choose from, and I went to the maximum I could. I sat in on eight of them. I'll leave a link in the description for the SWAT website. You can view the classes and the timeline for the symposium. I highly recommend you consider attending as you'll learn new techniques, meet some great turners. I saw and met several YouTubers, see some national and regional vendors, and view some great exhibits. I'd like to start with the Beads of Courage exhibit. Beads of Courage is a nonprofit organization that was started to improve the quality of life for children and teens coping with serious illnesses. What they do is they donate uh, these turn boxes from wood turners to a network of hospitals for kids to keep beads in. And the beads are given to the kids as they go through milestones procedures, doctor visits, chemo visits, whatever they're going through, they'll get a bead. And they can string them together for necklaces or uh, bracelets or anything like that, but it becomes cumbersome and when the string breaks, uh, some beads are lost. So they figured out, let's do something for them to put them in. So they came up with the idea and got wood turners and wood turning clubs involved and now it's a national organization and um, they donate directly uh, to the kids via the hospital networks uh, turners can send them to the beads of courage directly bring them to SWAT which there were over 400 of them uh, on display here uh, some cases, local hospitals are part of the network. You can drop them off there. But it's certainly a fun way to give to a very worthy cause. Uh, the display, uh, again, took over two tables, almost three tables. Uh, the creativity abounded here uh, by the Turners. And the boxes were unique and very, very well done. Uh, my congratulations to SWAT for teaming up with Beats of Courage. And my, certainly my congratulations is with all the Turners that participated in this uh, very worthy cause. I'll be turning some boxes this year and stay tuned for those videos. Uh, I'll show as I turn those and I'll show them also when we turn them into SWAT next year. This next one uh, that I'm going to show is a really neat chess set. It's steampunk. It was made by the uh, Hunt County Turners. This set had seven people collaborated with putting it together. Uh, I talked to one of the f one of the Turners from uh, Hunt County Turners, and he said that there are two other sets being made right now by two other groups. So it's quite a collaborative effort that they have going on in here. I thought it was really great and the attention to detail I think was just outstanding. Even to the board itself, the detail of the board was really, really great. But it was a really cool um, exhibit that they put on and um, I thought I'd catch it for you all to enjoy it too.
This next set of plates is done by Marty Kaminsky. He's with the Gulf Coast Wood Turners, uh, an association I just joined a few months ago. But I thought his use of uh, acrylics and the staining and the painting on these things were just really next to none. Uh, I thought he did an exceptional job. And I was very fortunate to talk to him how he explained uh, how he used the acrylics and how he um, did the procedure to put these on. Uh, I thought it was just a really, really cool uh, presentation of acrylics with uh, the really great wood turning also. This next set is by Rebecca de Groot. Um, I think uh, the artistry and the turning combination uh, is truly remarkable on this. I think she does just an excellent job of putting a spin on finials and teapots and plates and anything that uh, she does. I was very fortunate to take one of her uh, demonstration classes. It was a lot of fun. Uh, Tim Yoder was right next to us and there was a little friendly competition going on between uh, the two. So um, I encourage you to, if you can get to one of her demonstrations, um, please sit in on them. You'll learn a lot, and it was very informative uh, for me. Uh, there was another uh, Turner from Gulf Coast uh, Turners, uh, Janice Levy. Uh, she also put on a demonstration. Her demonstration was uh, outstanding also. Uh, both did an excellent job in uh, their demonstrating what they did. I caught uh, several bowls of Janice. Uh, I thought her texturing was just outstanding. And this next one, I think, is probably one of the better textured and vases uh, of the show. I thought it was remarkable. Uh, she has a great technique. Again, if you can get to one of her demonstrations, I would encourage you to do that. Um, both of them put together um, great demonstrations uh, and I thought this was really cool by Janice with the Red Sox and the uh, Yankees. Really cool. This next one is by Andy Chen. He's also a member of Gulf Coast. His segmenting is just beyond outstanding. This vase right here is Corian and I believe also clay and the detail of it and just the ability to put it all together uh, to me was just outstanding. He had uh, I think six uh, vases there and um, two of them were hollow farm and three of them were segmented and for some reason I put the video on for the others. I wanted to capture more of it and for some reason I just either didn't press the button or I had it on the wrong way. But uh, his displays were outstanding. This next segment I'll probably be quiet on. Uh, it's just a montage of all the other pieces, or as many pieces as I could catch in the gallery. Um, all of these pieces were just outstanding. Uh, it's just a different on the textures and the segmenting and the hollow forming and uh, different ways of, of doing things. All these turners are very artistic and very talented in turning. Uh, again, I encourage you to uh, next time, next year, uh, go and just see what can be done in wood turning and what is being done in wood turning. Everybody was friendly. Everybody was uh, upfront on how they, their techniques, how they did things. Uh, the demonstrators, there was no bad demonstrators. Uh, everything I went to was extremely good. Um, again, I can't say enough about it. I enjoyed myself very much. And there was, um, I think, 27 clubs in five states that are involved in this that help put this together. One club will have one of the demonstration rooms to support, and clubs will help in with the... Uh, um, food service and with the uh, vendors and just kind of helping folks find their way around 
and any support that the demonstrators needed. Uh, I can't say enough about the clubs also. They just did a very collaborative, excellent job. Everybody just kind of pulled together and put together an excellent symposium. So I'll be quiet and let you look at all the rest of these, and I hope to see you there next year. Stay tuned for more videos.